Hi Sagittarius, I hope you're doing amazing. This is your next 72. And please keep in mind that just because I say the next 72, this actually might resonate a week later or so. Um, if you're new to my channel, hello, welcome. My name is Sean. I'm happy you stopped by. Okay. Okay, Sag. Let's go ahead and open your reading. Oh, I want to go ahead and say that I have my son in the background. So if you don't like little people talking and that like bothers you, you might want to go ahead and click off the reading because I'm a mom and sometimes he be in the background. Okay. All right, with that being said, let's go ahead and open your reading. We're going to open it up with Matthew 7.7. 7. It says, Ask, and it will be given to you. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and the door will be open to you. Amen. All right. So, my Sages. Let's see. What is going on with my Sages? The next 72 hours. Uh, there's judgment um, for some of you. There's judgment. Um, and it's interesting because it's like some type of awkward position I'm getting. Making a judgment and being in an awkward position for some of you Sages I'm getting. Are you observing that? Observing that? I um, hope I'm saying that right. All right. Let's see. Sag, the recent past, my Sages. So we have the Seven of Wands. The bottom. Okay. So interesting. We have the Seven of Wands and we have the Hierophant in reversed. Mm. This is very interesting. Um, because when I look at the Seven of Wands, Sagittarius, I'm sorry. This looks like he's standing up to what he believes. So I feel like for some of you Sages, you may actually be standing up and not backing down for your from your unconventional lifestyle or something that you want to do that's very different than what other people um, than what other people do. Um, whatever this is, maybe you're a YouTuber, for instance, and your family, you know, they all went to college or something like that. I feel like you're not backing down, and you're like, no, I'm gonna do this, whatever this is. Like, I'm going to do this, and I'm tired of hearing people tell me no. Like, something like that, I'm getting, Sag. Or you're, um, if that's not you, there's someone in your energy like this, where they're not, someone's not backing down. Like, you're doing this. And you feel like you need to do this because your intuition is telling you that you need to do this. Interesting. Okay, Sag is. Okay. The present. We have the Eight of Cups with the Knight of Nine of Wands in reverse. So Sagittarius, it's like you're standing up for what you believe or someone around you is doing that. Someone's in your energy. Like you're not backing down. And it's about something that's unconventional. And it's interesting because you also have, because this is your previous energy, you also have this energy right now where you're, um, there's some fear of moving on though. There's some fear of moving on and ref there's some refusal to compromise here. Like what is going on, Sag? There's some refusal to compromise here. Um, and you're feeling very, very burdened about this. Clarification, what is this? What is this? What is this? Interesting. This is like that bully energy, that bitterness. Um, the King of Wands in reverse is not a very good person. This person's forceful. I feel like someone's trying to force you to do something. Um, someone might be trying to force you to do something. And you're like, no. It's like you're holding your ground right here. I feel like it could be someone that's in your family. Um, someone that's in your family, the Ten of Cups. This could be someone in your family. I'm, this seems very specific. This may not resonate with everyone. Um, like I said before, um, yeah. It's interesting with the um, Knight of Swords here, someone coming in strong. Someone coming in fast. For, this could be someone who's coming. This could be a very aggressive person too. 
And I don't think they had very good news or something like that. Interesting. Yeah, this person is kind of... I feel like there's someone in your family. They're not compromising. And they're few, someone's, not, someone's refusing to move on here. And someone here, Sag, is not backing down. Okay. What is your obstacle? Because this looks like an obstacle spirit. <laughs> like this whole situation is an obstacle. What is Sagittarius's obstacle with this? Okay. Yeah. The Page of Wands. So I feel like a lot of you might, your obstacle might be like feeling left out in the cold. Because the Five of Pentacles can be feeling left out in the cold. Because of your interests, because the, the page of wands right here, for me, it says, you know, you're interested. The way he's looking at this wand, feeling left out in the cold when it comes to something you want to do, an idea you have. You might be feeling left out in the cold. And for another group of you, that's not your situation. You're feeling left out and you're not feeling left out in the cold, but you're having some financial problems here. Um, well... A little bit of some financial setbacks because of what you're trying to go after you um, it's like money money is an obstacle here your money is an obstacle here and what you're interested in it's your money not saying you have financial problems let me take that back it's like money is the obstacle here with something that you're trying to do some of you might be dealing with an air sign right here we have the king of swords right here someone might be asking you to use your logic or like that's your obstacle too, like using your logic. For the Ace of Pentacles here, you might be trying to use logic, but at the same time, I feel like you're trying to follow your heart here. We have a lot of red here, root chakra, security, I'm getting. Okay, what is um, what is Sagittarius's advice here? What is their advice when it comes to this situation? We have the emperor right here. Oh, it's time to take control here. It's time for you to take control, Sag, of your own life. You need to take control. Some of you, um, yeah, you take control. And this will get you out of your mind right here. This whole like feeling trapped or whatever. whatever. Interesting. And I want to say something about... Um, some of you, this is going to be very, very specific. Some of you might have to, like, break from a father or something like that. A break from a father because they've been making you feel kind of um, confined. Or this could be, like, a boss that's kind of, like, um, making you feel, like, confined. Because this is in reverse. Like, you, you needing to... To deal with this person, dealing with the emperor is going to set you free. For some of you, got to deal with this emperor. I'm getting it's causing a lot of burdens, and for some of you, it's telling you you need to go ahead and take control. You'll know if this resonates for you. You need to take control because the emperor is all about structure. It's about um, the emperor can be very controlling too, discipline as well. There's a need for you to have di discipline with this new um, thing that you're trying to do. You need to be disciplined, it's saying. Yeah. Wow, that's interesting. Okay. Okay. But follow, follow your... Um, this is weird. I don't know where this is. Why Spirit is saying this. Something about Toucan Sam. That's for someone here. Follow your nose. Um, follow your nose. That's for someone um, I'm getting in this reading. What else is going on for Sagittarius? That's interesting, Sag. We have positive affirmations. You needing to do positive affirmations for some of you. You are already doing that in the next 72 or a week ahead or so. Um, if you're not doing that, you might want to consider doing that. And I feel like that um, these positive affirmations is because of this negative thinking that you're having, okay? They also want you to own your power in the next 72. I love this card. For some reason, that's my favorite card right here. Own your power. Take back your power, I'm getting. I feel like you are owning your power. 
I also see, Sag, some of you are starting a new hobby. Um, if you're not starting a new hobby, you need to start a new hobby, I'm getting. Ooh. Yeah, and there's a need for you to um, detox from social media, Sag. I feel like you already feel that way, and you will be doing that. Um, for some of you, that is your advice. You really do need to do that. We also have take a relaxing bath right here. Pamper yourself. Okay. All right, let me see for your love and relationship, Sag. Okay. We have playfulness. Woo! We have let your friends help you. Ooh. And we have passion right here. <laughs> Okay, so I'm getting, I got that again for Virgo too, letting your friends help you. Some of you have some, okay, for someone in here, you have a child that's constantly like around um, and there is a need for you to let this friend watch your kid. This is, <laughs> this is very specific. Let your friend watch your kid so you can have some passion in your love life because it's affecting things. Um, something about someone needing a babysitter here, I'm getting. I'm also getting, um... For some of you Sagittariuses, you need to have your friends, like, let your friends help you with your love life because they're going to help lead you to some type of passionate situation. Um, there's someone that's really into you, but you're going to meet this person through your friends. That's what I'm getting right here. I'm also getting the message for you, Sag, to be very playful, okay? Be very playful playful with your loved one, um, well, your, your love interests. Be playful, and, you know, if it's not even your, um, you're not looking for love, you know, it's a time for you to be very playful, Sag. It's going to help you, especially because some of you are dealing with this, like, stressful situation. Um, Spirit is saying some weird stuff today. Something about Peter Pan for someone. I don't know what this means, but this is, like, confirmation for you. Peter Pan. I <laughs> Spirit is saying weird stuff today. Okay. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Okay. We also have a light bulb moment coming to you. You guys are about to have a light bulb moment, or you might need to get a light bulb fixed in the next 72. But let me go ahead and pull some financial messages for you. Yep, light bulb. <laughs> I love this. There is a new idea right here. For some of you, this is um, some type of new idea that you're going to be going after, and you might have a naysayer. Um, where you guys are bumping heads, whatever this is, like some type of new idea. And then we have crown. Yeah, take back your crown right here. Basically, when it comes to your finances, you're going to be overcoming some obstacles with your finances. I'm not seeing anything bad happening with your finances, with the, which is great. I feel like they're a bit stable. They're stable. You know, I'm not seeing like a woo big windfall right now. Um, but then again, this video is just the next 72 to a week or so, or, you know, this timing's fluid as well. Um, energies can shift, but I see things being a bit stable. I know a lot of you are like, oh, I want that windfall. It will be happening. But something about you needing to go after this new idea, okay? This new idea that you have, Sagittarius, is going to give you a crown. You're going to overcome a lot of obstacles by going after this. Okay. Let me pull... Some channeled messages and we will be done. Spirit also says take a break if you need to take a break. I've had to take a break a little bit when it comes to my channel lately. Because of things going on in my um, personal life. So, <laughs> hey, don't feel bad with having to do that. So, yeah, we have the prophet dream. So, pay attention to your dreams. Your dream is going to tell you about something. Um... We have side chick getting exposed. I probably need to do a separate separate reading on that. Um, someone here, and I'm picking it up in Sagittarius and Virgo energy as well. Um, there's something about someone having someone in the, on the side or something like that and it getting exposed. For some of you, it may be happening in your dreams, like you seeing something like that happening in your dreams. Um, but there's something about something like that that's going to be coming out. We have October as well. October is very significant for you. Something's going on, Sag, for you in October. We have something happening in one month. We have one month. You may know what that is. We also have stop talking yourself out of it. Stop talking yourself out of it. You might be talking yourself out of something in the next 72 or so. 
We also have Friday. Friday is very significant for you, Sag. Um, for some of you, Sages. We also have live in the moment. Time for you to live in the moment. We have a new partner here. Some of you are going to be having some type of new partner to help you with something. Ooh, a new favorite Netflix show. I always like these, stuff like this. Um, some of you are going to be watching a new favorite Netflix show. And then we have State is in the building. Okay, expect some type of um, inspection in your building or your home if it's an apartment complex. Um, the apartment complex, some type of notice, um, your business, or even your work. Something about a state inspection. State inspection. Um, and it says true love is entering your life. Okay, true love is entering your life, Sagittarius. We have obstacles here. I feel like you're going to be overcoming some obstacles in the next 72, but I do see a few obstacles presenting themselves. It's okay because you're going to overcome them. Those obstacles never go anywhere. You're just, that's just life. It's just life. We have peace, a time of peace, okay? Focus on your peace too, a time of peace. And then we have July, okay? July is very significant for you, um, Sagittarius. Something about July. All right, Sag, if you like this reading, hit the like button, hit subscribe, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.